Let's balance the equation for IBR plus NH3 it gives us this Ni3 and NH4Br. So we have iodine monobromide. This is ammonia. This is nitrogen triiodide. Then we have ammonium bromide. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have one iodine, one bromine, one nitrogen, and three hydrogens. In the products, we have three iodines, one bromine. Be careful with the nitrogens. We have one here and one here. So we have a total of two nitrogens. That trips people up sometimes. And four hydrogens. I think I want to start with the iodine atoms because I could put a three here. One times three, that would balance the iodines. But the three goes to everything. So we have three times the one here. That'll give us three bromines. Let's come over here and balance the bromines by putting a three in front of the ammonium bromide. So now we need to update the nitrogens, hydrogens, and bromines. So again, the three goes to everything here. So one times three, we get three bromines. Nitrogens, we have the one here, plus we have three times the one, three of those. That gives us four hydrogens, three times four, that gives us 12. All right, it looks like if we put a four in front of the ammonia, one times four, that would balance the nitrogen atoms. And then three times four, that would give us 12 and we'd be done. This equation is balanced. Probably the key thing here is make sure that you're counting the nitrogens up correctly on the product side, and you should be able to get the correct balance equation for IBR plus NH3. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.